It's hard to be humble when you're as great as I am. You know, it's not bragging if you can back it up. If you're not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. Do you know who said those? Well, I'm sure you do, because it's not the title of this review. We're talking about the new Netflix documentary, Blood Brothers, Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. Should this movie about two influential leaders be on your watch list? For three pivotal years, Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X forged a brotherhood that would not only change both men, but also the world. Blood Brothers, Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali tells the extraordinary story behind the friendship and the ultimate falling out of two of the most iconic figures of the 20th century. We get never-before-seen footage to chart this extremely complex friendship, tracing the near-simultaneous rise of the charismatic and outspoken champion who charmed the nation and the ex-con turned intellectual revolutionary who rallied against oppression. So this is a pretty quick watch for a documentary. It's only 95 minutes and it goes by fast. The story transitions back and forth to build out Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X, so we get to watch both as both rise in fame. Then their stories converge to illustrate how they met and use their prominence to influence the world. This really is a personal story of two great and influential men. And not only do we hear how they change the world in their own personal ways, but we are shown how they work together to bring prominence to their dual mission. The recounting of events, feelings, and stories from their respective children and other family members were the most impactful for me. I loved hearing historians and others who knew them give details of their lives, but it was much more touching and obviously more personal to hear from their loved ones. Some of the interviews, too, were pretty entertaining. I mean, not so much in content, but in who was being interviewed and the way they told their information. I'm glad the doc doesn't really shy away from the conflict that arose between Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X. While their strife was more about ideals and who to follow, the real clash came when Malcolm spoke out and against Elijah Muhammad as the leader of the Nation of Islam. Ali was being groomed by Elijah Muhammad at the same time that Malcolm is beginning to have a falling out with the movement he so famously promoted. So we feel a growing tension between the two friends. And I think knowing the ultimate fate of Malcolm does make it more palpable as we watch hostilities rise and threats begin to mount against Malcolm from followers of the Nation of Islam. There's a lot of video and audio footage that is incorporated to supplement all the interviews, and then those are combined with newspaper coverage, so what we get is a well-rounded view of the two men. Now, some of the footage is not for the faint of heart, even though it is absolutely 100% accurate. The documentary ties in the current events of the time, as well as highlighting events that shaped the two men as they were growing up. One such event is the lynching and murdering of Emmett Till. But then there are so many other atrocities that are shown and touched upon, really working to give context and background on their stances. And this is especially true of Malcolm. But he's not the only one who experienced the massive inequalities that shape their view. Muhammad Ali's story shows us how he goes from kid boxer to Olympic champion, and all the while seeing and then experiencing the hypocrisy that existed all around him in the country. I loved the footage of Malcolm X as he speaks and teaches. He is eloquent and commanding, and it's easy to see why he resonated with so many people. I mean, not only is he charismatic, but he speaks in a way that is authoritative without feeling preachy. Now, this was surprisingly emotional, especially towards the end as we hear more and more from the two men's families. We're shown the rift that existed between the two and then get to hear accounts of the regrets that Ali had after the assassination of Malcolm. Ali began to have a change of heart, learning through maturity and gaining wisdom, just like Malcolm had done. And I'm very curious at how or if they would have ever reconciled had Malcolm X not been assassinated. So I think if you're knowledgeable about either of the two men, the information that is presented here isn't terribly unique, but it is still compelling. The storytelling is captured in a way that flows naturally, comfortably, and I think it looks great. The interviews are executed and framed well, creating a lot of visual interest by not keeping the exact same camera angle on the subject for every shot. There's also not a lot of supposition or speculation that's introduced, which I appreciate. What we get is an efficient narrative about two highly influential men who use their notoriety and influence to speak out against the inequalities of the country in which they lived. Now, love them or hate them, they got people talking and thinking. There's no sex or nudity, but some profanity and some terrible images of real violence. I highly recommend checking out Blood Brothers, Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali on Netflix. Do you know a lot about these two men? Does this sound like something you'd be into watching? I'd love to know what you thought of the documentary if you decide to check it out. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. 
I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.